at today's forecast before people step out the door this morning. So as we head towards the end of the Jambalaya show here, uh, I wanted to fill you in with some heat alerts that we've been having. So we're actually under an, an excessive heat watch that is. So even though we're going to be seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 90s, we could be seeing an actual real field temperature of anywhere between 105 to 110 degrees. And even the southern parishes could see uh, our real field temps up to 115 degrees. So it's definitely going to be a hot day outside. So if you do have any outdoor type of plans, or the earlier in the day, the better. And if you do have to be outdoors later on in the day, make sure you drink plenty of fluids, like try to stay in the shady areas and uh, limit limit any uh, extra hard work and activities as we have throughout uh, the rest of the day. But as we take a look at our surface map, we're actually going to be seeing a, um, a weak federal boundary mainly stalled out in the northern tier parts of Louisiana. And that's going to continue to be the trend throughout this weekend. And actually, that's why we saw some severe weather uh, earlier this morning. We we actually had some severe thunderstorm warnings that uh, came up too and we do have the high temperatures and the high moisture content levels present and so this system is actually allowing us to have some lift due to the positive energy that it's bringing down into our viewing area and so that's going to continue to hang around our areas especially going into the early parts of next week too so as of now we're looking at mainly 20 to 30 percent chances across most of the viewing areas so everybody is all in fair game of seeing these showers to occur and so uh, we're not out of the woods yet for the severe weather because we could have some severe thunderstorms we had into the later part of the morning hours as everything is all in place with the atmosphere and, and the high instability that we have at the current moment. But as we head into the afternoon hours, we'll see some isolated storms. And so our dew point values are climbing up into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So it's definitely going to feel muggy outside along with those high temperatures that we're having. And as we take a look at our severe weather threat over the next couple days, we're actually seeing the same type of weather story. So everybody is all under this slight to marginal risk of severe weather coming up. So we're going to keep you informed with that as we head into the rest of today and even going into the weekend. And so most most of the, the threats with these systems are mainly uh, uh, high winds and large hail. And so we actually had 60 mile per hour winds recorded this morning with some quarter size hail in some areas. And uh, even though we didn't have much rotation, but tornadoes can't be ruled out, especially as the temperatures start to rise and daytime heating comes into play along with that lift that we had and will continue throughout the rest of the day. And so as we head into the later part of the morning hours, most of the showers just will be off to the north and west here. And, and, and uh, I'm sorry, north and east parts of Louisiana. And so that, that's going to be clearing out though and then by the by the time the evening hours roll around we'll see some isolated showers nothing as heavy as we are going to be seeing the rest of this morning so that's the great news we are going to get out of this soon but it is still going to feel uh, quite hot outside as those uh, temperatures rise into the mid 90s and with those high heat heat, heat indexes as well and so we're going to be seeing the same type of story this weekend as these storms move through and uh, we will be seeing a lot of cloud cover moving into the area as uh, along with isolated showers and so as we take into take a look at our seven day forecast here, um, once again, we are going to be seeing uh, storm activity throughout most of the, the rest of this week and, and going into the weekend. And as we head into the work week next week, we're going to be seeing that same type of scenario as that system remains stalled. So even though that we are going to have these high temperatures coming up and around the holiday season or yeah, with all these extra holidays, hopefully those showers will cool us down a little bit. All right, Caitlin, thanks so much for the update. You're, you're welcome. And that's going to do it for us here on Friday's.